Ashley, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I decided that I'll be filming a customization of your Mac video. So I actually recently got a new laptop. So this has kind of just sparked my interest on how to customize your laptop to make it more aesthetically pleasing or just more functional. Also with 2021 coming up, I thought it would be cool to kind of customize it to be more productive or if you just want a fresh start on your MacBook, hopefully this can help you. If you guys are wondering why I'm doing this video now, it's because my baby's actually due at the end of December. So I'm gonna be super busy taking care of my little one and um, I'm not gonna have time to film any 2021 videos. So I think that's all I have to say. So let's just hop right on into some tips and tricks I have for customizing your laptop. So I'm gonna put a little um, kind of screen recording on the screen so you can see what I'm doing on my laptop, but I'm just gonna kind of run through of how I got my laptop to look how I did. So I'm just gonna show an overview of how my laptop looks currently right now. It's kind of like a nude Christmas theme and I actually made this theme myself. If you guys wanna purchase any of my desktop themes, I have about three of them right now and I'm gonna have more when this video is uploaded. My Etsy desktop themes come with three wallpapers and also your folders to go along with the wallpapers. If you guys wanna go check that out, that'll be linked down below and you guys can go purchase it. It's only six bucks, it's not really expensive. Um, but yeah, it's just like an easier way to customize your laptop really fast and easy. So yeah, if you guys like what my laptop looks like, you guys can go down below and get your own. Anyways, getting on into actually customizing your Mac, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to change the folders on your laptop. So you can really use any PNG image. I just decided to use the PNGs that are in my desktop theme pack that go with my wallpaper, just for an example. So the first thing you have to do is open up the folder that you want to change it into and then go copy. You then open your old folder, the one that you want to change to a different color and then you just go get information. Once that's open, you just have to highlight the little folder icon at the top of the screen and then go paste. And then as you can see, it changed to the PNG image that I wanted it to change into. So I'm just gonna fast forward me doing the rest of my folders so you guys can see the finished product. So this is what the folders look like with the wallpaper. I think that everything kind of goes together, which I really, really like the look of. So yeah, that's how you change your folders on your laptop. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to get a mini journal onto your Chrome. So I recently discovered this and it's called Coffee Lings. It is so cute. So pretty much all you have to do is go to the Chrome store and then type in Coffee Lings in the search bar. Once you have found the app, all you have to do is go add to Chrome and then accept yes. So I decided to pin it to the top of my screen to make it easier to use, but pretty much what it is, it's a mini journal that you can use every day to track your mood and just do a little bit of an update on your life or whatever you choose to do with it. But it doesn't take very long and I just think it's really, really good for 2021 just to kind of track how you're feeling and stuff like that. Yeah. So I thought it was really cute. You guys can go check it out if you want to. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to get this flip clock screensaver onto your laptop. So the first thing you have to do is go to a website called Flip Clock Analog, I believe it's called. It will show on the screen, so if I'm wrong, I apologize. But pretty much all you have to do is go to this website and then scroll down and then press the Mac download button. So 
So once the downloading is complete, all you have to do is open it up and then tap the top icon and then just accept yes to adding it as a screensaver. So once you accept yes, all you have to do is go and set it as your display wallpaper and anytime you leave your computer for a certain amount of time, depending on your settings, it will just go to this clock instead of just shutting off. I just think this is really, really cute and I've seen this all over Pinterest and TikTok, so I thought I would show you guys how to do it. And I'm also going to show you guys how to customize your Chrome. So pretty much you have to go to your Chrome screen and then go down to customize at the bottom of your screen. It's going to give you a bunch of options for accent colors. I just like to choose the nude theme, but there are plenty of different colors. And then I decided to change the background. So you just have to go to select your own images. And then I just chose the background image that I would like. Mine is just a nude squiggly themed background. And then I just put it as that and it looks very aesthetically pleasing. I'm also going to show you guys how to get these really, really cute cat tabs. I know it's so random, but I just thought this was really, really cute. So you go to the Chrome web store and then click tabby cat in the search bar. And then you just have to go add to Chrome. And then every time you open a new tab, a new cat pops up. I just thought this was really cute. And yeah, let me know if you guys actually get this. And I'm also going to show you guys how to change your cursor on your Chrome. So all you have to do is go to, again, the Chrome store and then type in cute cursors. Then you just have to add it to your Chrome and then you can choose whatever cursor you want to use and there's a bunch of different options and stuff so yeah you guys should definitely check this out. That was all for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe got some tips and tricks on how to customize your laptop and if you guys want another one of these videos for the phone make sure to let me know down below i'll make sure to do that for you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys